All right, I want you guys to just take a second and take all this in. This is um, just a sample of some of the uh, models I've painted over the uh, past couple of years. I have no clue how many models this is on the uh, kitchen island here but I will tell you this I actually have more <laughs> they just physically wouldn't fit onto this little island but um, the reason I, ma I wanted to make this little video here is to um, talk about something that um, I feel is not addressed enough in the gaming community which is you know you guys really need to paint your stuff and I try to be a jerk about it you know um, I mean you take a look at this over here this is a lot of different armies a lot you got ONG you got vampire counts you got imperial guard some blood angels in the back first edition rope trader uh, guard right there some Tau um, a couple of Blood Bowl teams, there's my Amazons Skavens that sort of thing, oh there's an undead team right there, center frame and um, I'm actually a working adult with a commute you know I have a wife, a kid a dog and um, I'm able to um, to paint all of this with a you know an actual life. I know the stereotype. Oh, heretic must have no life because you know he he all he does is paint little models. Actually, not so much. I spend about an hour in the morning. I wake up an hour before everybody else does. And I start painting. I could do about three or four models a day, but you do that every day, and you will end up with something like this. It is that simple. Now, I'm not the greatest painter in the world, I'm not going to lie, but when the whole army is together, like you'd see, like an Imperial Guard army or this ONG army, it actually works. It looks awesome and um, more of you guys should do that if you're in the paint pit I understand just looking at your models um, you know maybe primers maybe not maybe you got stuff still in boxes maybe it's so overwhelming that it mentally you don't even want to think about it well, I'm here to um, help you out now I, I bought um, three boxes of um, battle at, at uh, Skull Pass there and that's a lot of goblins and uh, dwarves I actually painted up all three sets I didn't put the dwarves out here because I split them with a friend and uh, so he now owns that dwarf army and yeah uh, you do it one day at a time if you think of it that way stay committed to it you know, stay committed to getting your stuff painted. That's my message for today. Let me just um, switch gears here. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff I've done. Uh, you, know, uh, you know what? You've seen my Praetorians like a million times, so I can show. My towel. Basic um, chop and reposition. You get some really nice positioning there. You know, it actually looks... Um, more dynamic, like he's about to to uh, smoke somebody with his, uh, his plasma gun. It's awesome. Uh, love the older stuff. I'm a big fan. Probably say it a million times in my other videos. Original Road Trader Guard. Love it. I um, because they're so hard to find actually made them a mechanized force. You can see all the chimeras there. Bunch of them. And um, 
started making these, which are mechanized Rough Riders Imperial Guard on bikes. Hey, if any of you guys have these, send me a, a IM. I buy these all the time. Love them. Can't find enough. Actually, I only need three more. <laughs> um, second edition Stormtroopers, the original plastic models. Um, they don't make anymore. They do make uh, these guys, the special weapons, but they don't they don't cast the uh, plastic guys. So very glad to hang on to that. Here's some oldies uh, but goodies. The um, first edition Road Trader plastic Space Marines, the B keys. Awesome, love these. I love the old stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Um, one of my favorite Ogrins, Rogue Trader, right there. That um, actually second edition was my favorite uh, incarnation of the 40k universe. As we continue on, uh, old skeletons. Awesome. I did sneak in one non GW figure in here. Just wanted to show you what my ref looks like. Spooking hot ref. Yeah. So um, as you can see, I, I, I'm not going. I don't do crazy conversions. I do do my best. You know, there are some cool, like this little his smart missile. It's just taking off from his uh, his missile pod. I'm sorry, that's not a smart missile, it's a missile pod. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. It is, um, took me a long time to just bring all this out here. But I just thought, you know, share it with the uh, gaming community. And, um, uh, my props, uh, mini gaming, war, uh, mini gaming, mini wargaming.com. I think you guys are awesome. So I thought, give you guys a shout out. Uh, I don't know if you're doing your video contest, but this is probably going to be my entry for it. And, um, anyways, just sort of take it all in. Let's do a stroll thing. You know that part in Lord of the Rings when, uh, Saruman is stepping out in the balcony and he looks at his entire, uh, army as it amassed? That's kind of like how I feel at this moment. I kind of feel like Soramon. This army's ready to rock. Actually, uh, you guys are. I'm going to do a follow-up video. I'm going to be um, taking my guard to the Adventurers Guild, so I'm going to do a battle report, and so you'll get to see the Praetorians in action. Hopefully, I can um, come up with a good win. This is um, this is kind of tiring. Just looking at all this stuff, but like I said. Um, let's go back to the main message of why I started this. Please, paint your minis. I'm begging you. I don't care if they're all painted pink and orange or something crazy like that. Just paint them. Heretic, out.